So we've booked ourselves into the G2 guest house and hotel. It's down a really side street in old city Chiang Mai, but we're gonna go in and have a look anyway. And um, it was pretty hard to find actually. So we just gotta check in our reception desk. Here we go. Looks nice. Got a balance down here. There's another little area here little restaurant area it looks like where you can sit and have breakfast if you choose to I don't think we've elected to have breakfast this time around but yeah it's a nice little quiet area it's really down a side street but apparently it's close walk to some nightlife but we'll find out that later also for those doing the touristy thing Got all these different pamphlets on tourism here. There's a lot of things. There you go, my dear. If you want to look at anything touristy. <laughs> so we've checked into the G2 Boutique Hotel in Chiang Mai. First thing, got myself a nice bit of cupboard space up here. If I wanted to put anything up here, yeah, some great stuff. Also got myself a microwave. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the rest of this room. And I got it for a hundred U, well, a hundred Australian for three nights, this room. So I'll show you what it's, what's in it. For a hundred Australian for three nights, about $34, $35 for the deluxe room. So I'm gonna go through it bit by bit with you. First, your kettle, your microwave. Got lots of cupboard space, though I don't think you would use it much unless you're staying here for an extended period of time. It's got a big, spacious sort of lounge room area here. Probably a cupboard space where you may have put the TV. TV up on the room. Big sort of fridge. In the fridge, you've got some cans of Coke. A couple of bottles of water. Extra fan. You have got air con at the top. Beautiful decorative picture. Ha ha. Nice little lounge to relax on. Your view out here. We've got a little view of the garden that you're looking out to. And now let's move into the other rooms. Let's show you what else is in here. To go into the bedroom. I think this is the bedroom anyway. What's in here? Oh my God. We have this beautiful sort of open little lounge, big bed. I should have stayed here for the whole week, I'm thinking. Um, what are these? Oh, these are just decorative things, curtains, really. And so we've got a huge room and lots of cupboard space. Like if you're staying here for a whole week, you've got all this cupboard space here to put your clothes. Little seat there. And there is another icon, air con in the main bedroom here. Decorative little chandelier. I love the colours. Look at the colours here. Just that nice little grey colour, little green colour in the other room. And let's go into the bathroom. Look at this bathroom. Just so cool. I love this bathroom. It is good. 33 bucks a night. I cannot complain for 33 bucks a night or something like that. All I know is that was about a hundred bucks for the three nights that I played here. This is beautiful. Look at it. Just amazing, this sort of setup. I've read the reviews on this place and it was just really great reviews. Big bathtub, Anne's gonna be happy with that. But overall, it's a big, spacious area. Overall, got apart from it being a little bit difficult to find down the side streets, I'm highly impressed. My first use of a little boutique hotel in um, Thailand generally, I usually go to the big hotels, but I'm very happy I went this little boutique hotel here. I just love it. Now I've got to test the Wi-Fi later, but generally speaking, great little hotel. Really well decorated. There's a little breakfast area downstairs, but we didn't order breakfast. We figured that we can walk around the streets and find things, but we can add breakfast later if we want to. So yes, that's my little tour of this hotel. Customer service was great. 
They didn't have a lift. We're on the third floor, so there's three floors here. But um, the guy was nice enough to carry our bags up for us and bring them to the room. I could have carried them up, but he offered. And there is a laundry mat, walking distance. They charge, what, 60 baht a kilo, hun, for washing your clothes. So 60 baht a kilo, you walk about one minute around the corner here. Pay, the lady will measure your, your bag in kilos, whatever washing you got, and she'll charge you 60 baht a kilo to wash your clothes. So I guess to us Westerners, it's not too bad. Um, no, Ian did complain and say, I can get it cheaper than Bangkok per kilo. But I thought it was okay. 60 baht a kilo washing your clothes isn't too bad. Uh, it'll be interesting che checking out the nightlife in this area because the reviews told me that walking distance, on a go to reviews, they were saying that most things are in walking distance here. But anyway, we're going to settle ourselves in now and relax a little bit. So my final review of the G2 Boutique Hotel in Old Town Chiang Mai is that it is pretty good value for money when you consider that you're in the center of Old Town. Everything's in walking distance. The Sunday markets in the evening are in walking distance. There's a whole bunch of little cafes, little restaurants, all within walking distance. And you can pretty much walk around Old Town from here. And there is a lot of these little boutique hotels around as well. And we've been comfortable. The customer service downstairs, they're very friendly. They're very engaging. You can get breakfast down there if you want. I noticed it's there until 10 a.m. Uh, it probably is extra. We didn't go for the breakfast because there's just a lot of cafes around. And that's one of the advantages of this place. It is down a little bit of a side street. Um, yeah, you do have limited parking, but I noticed they do have a little parking block around the corner where they've got too many cars. And, but it's value for money, it's good. And you do get a couple of nice bottles of water on the first day and, um, and also some fruit. You've got a little kettle, bathtub, shower, comfortable bed, comfortable pillows, a good lounge here, TV. So you've got a few things that can just chill and just walk. And they do have bikes here, but the tires are a little bit flat, but I'm sure they'll fix them up. But yeah, we had a good experience here. And we had a good old yarn with the um, <laughs> the person downstairs who speaks pretty good English at the customer service there. And we made another connection. So we enjoyed our stay here at the um, G2 Boutique Hotel. But now it's time for us to head back to Bangkok. So off we go. <laughs>